So it's really no wonder that when President Bakune sits down for bilateral talks with her counterparts from the U.S., Japan, and China, she is expected to delve into the issue of denuclearizing North Korea. For more on what's likely to top the discussions table during the South Korean leaders' one-on-ones, here's our Connie Kim. The growing threat of a nuclear armed North Korea will be the main item on the agenda for South Korean President Park Geun-hye during back-to-back -back summits with the leaders of the U.S., Japan and China in Washington on Thursday. Prior to a trilateral meeting between Seoul, Washington and Tokyo, President Park and President Obama will likely reaffirm their commitment in denuclearizing Pyongyang. In order to bring about substantial outcome, experts say Seoul must bring up a specific agenda to Washington. Most agreements between South Korea and the U.S. were made by request of Seoul. The most important point when it comes to North Korea's nuclear issues is whether Washington's nuclear umbrella will cover South Korea as well. Seoul must be specific in its calls to give a strong message to Pyongyang. Cooperation between President Park and Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe on pressuring Pyongyang is expected to accelerate following progress on one of the most contentious issues between them the settlement on the so-called comfort women issue reached late last year. However, the two may still engage in discussions on the implementation of the landmark deal in the wake of Tokyo's denials of the fourth nature of its wartime sexual slavery program. When the South Korean leader sits down for a one-on-one -on -one meeting with her Chinese counterpart Xi Jinping, President Park will focus on reaffirming China's cooperation on denuclearizing the North. The possible deployment of the U.S. missile defense system, known as THAAD, in South Korea is likely to be up for talks, but experts doubt any tangible outcome will come out from the bilateral meeting. The THAAD issue is very important between South Korea and China. However, at the same time, the deployment of THAAD issue is a very important issue between the United States and China. So. Uh, I think uh, the old parties need more time to coordinate the different national interests. The back-to-back -back summits will be President Park's first meetings with the regional counterparts since North Korea's nuclear test and long-range ballistic missile launch. And the results are expected to shape the way how leaders deal with North Korea's nuclear provocations in the future. Connie Kim, Arirang News.